Pat and I met about 1970 in Miami. We were both teachers and um, had a mutual friend. So we started talking and got to be friendly and we've been friends ever since. We were all involved with boating and we had um, mutual friends and they would come down on the weekends. It was a wild time. <laughs> <laughs> I was an art major. So I've done a lot of textiles, that's always been my bag. So I got into quilting. The work is very, very unique. She's entered into uh, some fabric competition and has won awards. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Um, my husband and I, we sailed our boat, well, one and a half times around the world. So that's how I, I learned to paint, basically, as we were moving around. I would uh, go ahead and just play with it as different scenes and then I got back and I said okay I want to take it more seriously so I I took some classes and it takes a long time to, to do this work the divine proportion which is like Fibonacci in every shape of my shape is based on the next shape or another shape in the painting that's mathematical so I have math as well as art I started my art with the lost wax casting process. Everything was made sculptured in wax and then cast. And I made a ring and it came out and it looked good. And I was surprised, so I did another one. And pretty soon I'm doing whatever I can think of. My husband said, you know, this is getting to be an expensive hobby. So why don't you see if you can sell some of these things. I took them to the teacher's lounge at the school I was working at. And by the end of the day, they were all sold, every one of them. And I thought, oh my word, that's being a professional. So <laughs> I got paid. I came as a counselor to Buena Vida. And what I saw absolutely thrilled me. I thought, this is where I want to live. I kept telling Pat all about it. And I said, you know, you like me, don't have anybody else in your life, who's going to care for you? What's going to happen? You know, think about it. Sandy and Jim came down to visit, and Sandy came in and she said, well, we did it. And I said, what? We put down our deposit. I said, you did what? <laughs> so now we've got all three of us. You know, there's so much to do here that we don't get tired. <laughs> we don't get bored. There's plenty of art to be had and to do. And the first picture in my mind when I saw our activity room was, oh boy, a whole group of people with sewing machines. And so now we have the Buena Vida Stitchers. The greatest part that I know about Buena Vida is the only continuing care facility in all of Brevard County. That means that you come in as independent and you stay independent as long as you can. You have that security. You know that you are going to be cared for. Well, with me being a, a boater, I tell everybody it's like being on a cruise ship with all the activities, but no one gets seasick. <laughs> <laughs> you got your fine dining or you could go to the pub. And... It is like living in a fine hotel and yet here we're surrounded by friends and activities and there's so much to do. I can't believe it. I didn't expect it to be this much fun. <laughs>